Okay, so here's the deal. That big black tube that you saw, the culvert pipe, that's a two inch, or two foot, excuse me, two inch, geez, two foot diameter pipe. And the manure, we'd load it up. It was supposed to be loaded up. So you take your tractor, go out there, you got your bucket full of manure, and you're throwing it in there, and you're like, hey, this is working great. I just got to throw this in there. That's beautiful. Well, what happened is that manure, it would go down, and then it would just come right back up. And then all you're doing as you put more and more manure in, you just get a big pile of manure uh, that eventually just clogs up that whole two-foot diameter hole. And what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to actually sink and go down through uh, that green PVC pipe and down into the digester and then float up into the digester. And what I come to realize is that this digester was designed really more for pigs and chickens and um, even a dairy farm where they have um, a slurry to begin with, uh, where everything's pretty wet. But we don't have that here. We are an uh, open ranch, uh, and I go and I collect manure out of the stalls. Uh, it's dry. It's sticky. It's got straw in it. And everything there likes to float. So I went and looked at extrusion, uh, you know, screws like this, uh, and then have it pointing down. But the problem is, as it goes down, the stuff would just fall off of it. I actually talked to the engineers at a few different companies. Um, couldn't find any good grinders. They just didn't exist. And then also uh, talked to some pump companies. And I found lots of pumps that would do this job. But they were all really, really expensive. I mean like super expensive. And they $10,000 for a pump. Uh, kind of expensive. I'm like, well, we don't need a $10,000 pump. Couldn't afford it even if we did need it. And don't want it. It's too much. It's way too big for what we want. That's like for a dairy farm where they have huge, you know, hundreds of head of cattle, lots of manure, settling ponds, all that kind of stuff. We don't want that. So I ended up buying a grinder pump uh, for sewage, uh, for human sewage. And this is the type of pump you would have if you had a basement that was down, you know, if here's ground level and you had a basement down here and you got to get your... Uh, your sewage up out of the basement, out into the city, uh, or into your septic tank, you would buy a sewage grinder pump. And I bought a fairly good one. A heavy duty uh, pump, it's from uh, Burkham, B-U-R-C-A-M. It's a sewage grinder pump. Uh, and a really nice one. Got a automated switch on here, so when the water level gets the right uh, level, it'll turn on. It's got a two-inch outlet here. Uh, it sucks up everything through the bottom here and then grinds it up and shoots it up through the top. So the problem that we're having is that this area and the the grinder area here is just too close to each other. And uh, it really needs to be more spread out so that more solids can get through with less liquid. Again, normally these pumps are built uh, to work with 99% water in the mixture, not a whole bunch of manure. So this is the one that's actually been used. It really does work. Um, it's what got the manure flowing in the picture I showed you. but. Uh, it's out of the water right now as everything's frozen, and come the spring, we're going to get this thing figured out and, uh, yeah, give it a go. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the pump from Birkin. I called and I talked to the company first, told them what we're doing. Of course, they said, you're going to void the warranty. You're not going to, it's not going to work. Um, and I said, well, your commercials show your pump chewing up denim jeans, toilet paper, tampons, uh, one even showed a bra getting eaten up. I'm like, why is it that you guys can do all that stuff, but you can't chew up some straw and manure? And some of you probably already know the answer to that, but for those that don't, let me just tell you, the answer is lots and lots of water. Majority of everything that happens in those sewage um, grinder pumps is like 99% water surrounding it uh, and one little piece of whatever it is that needs to get sucked up. So... There's lots of motion in the water caused by the pump that then sucks things up and, you know, grinds it up really, really well. Um, the problem here is that, you know, we don't really want to have a lot of water. Um, I, I, I'm filling that horse toilet up with, with the digest state, and then you fill it full of manure. But what's happening is that manure is just too dense. So what we really need to do, the pump works. Now, the pump works, okay? 
So I don't want to get rid of the pump, but we've got to find a way to grind everything up better and mix it and do so where we can actually use a tractor bucket so you're not sitting there like one scoop of manure at a time. Yay, that sucks. Uh, what we want to do is take that tractor and be able to dump right into something, grind it all up, dump it in the horse toilet, and then fill it full of digestate and let the pump run, cycle everything, and then basically you just turn a valve and it shoots everything down into the digester. And I did that. Uh, I did test out this uh, horse toilet that I made out there. And it does work. You just can't put too much in it at one time. So if we had a way to grind everything or shred everything, that would be perfect. But when I looked at shredders and grinders, all of them, again, were like super big industrial, ginormous garbage dump, put a chair or a car into it type grinders. And we don't need something that big. Uh, we need like a, a four foot wide by about, you know, one foot um, thick uh, grinder or shredder that just takes that manure and grinds it all up with the hay and the straw and, and makes it small enough to where um, the grinder pump can suck it up and, and send it down, down range. So that is the digester loading problem. Now we were able to get the digester to run uh, for a little bit. We got it up kind of late in the season, so it wasn't very warm, but I kicked on the heater. I moved heat through the PEX line. It all heated up, and we had lots of methane coming off of it. Enough to sh let me show you this. So this is a pretty exciting moment. We are running a biogas generator off of methane from the digester. How awesome is that? That's right. Generator running on methane. Uh, kind of dark. I'm sorry about that. It's before I had better camera gear and lights and all that. But it was pretty cool to see it all come together and actually run. So the digester works, but we shut it down because we couldn't keep loading it. And then once a really, we couldn't keep loading it because I didn't want to dedicate my entire life to filling the horse toilet full of poop every day. Because um, basically you'd have to clean one bucket full every day, put it in there. And uh, I'm a little busy right now, so I couldn't do that. Um, then the cold weather came, and I did have a trough heater that I put into the horse uh, toilet uh, to keep it from freezing. And eventually I just said, you know what? It ain't worth it. I got other things to deal with, uh, heater problems, all the things that you see on the real Martian. So we shut her down, and we're waiting for spring to regroup on the digester and the horse toilet. So. Um, Thanks for following along. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, a little background on the digester and all the challenges we've had. Lots of hope there though as well. I can't wait to get to it this spring. If you have ideas on a grinder or a shredder, please send them uh, to my email, uh, trm at the uh, realmartian.com. And uh, I'd love to see what your ideas and thoughts are there. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us, a, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you hit the little notification bell right to the left of the subscribe button, you'll actually get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks, everybody, for following along. Appreciate your time. Appreciate your feedback. As always, God bless. This is Real Martian. Out.